I'm using this thing on my PC from home. Sure. Uh, so I'll be explaining how to clone a repository from GitHub using Visual Studio. It's very easy. Visual Studio Code, I mean, it's very easy, and I'll show you the steps. So the first thing that you want to do is to know which repository you want to clone. Um, so you just click here, clone git repository, and then you provide the repository URL. So to do that, I'll just come here. Alright, cool. I'm just gonna come here and then I'm gonna demonstrate using a different repository altogether. So I'll be using the student transport system. Cool. So I have the student transport system here. Now I just need to get the back in the URL. And remember at this point you already have the access, or rather you already have the, the yeah, collaborator into this thing. So to get uh back in. Okay, let's wait here again. It says here provide repository URL or pick a repository source. So to get the repository URL, you're just gonna select here. Here where it is. HTTPS GitHub student blah 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 blah. Just gonna copy this. Paste it here. And then enter. So the second thing that is going to do is going to ask me where I want to store this repository. And since I know that I'm working inside, uh, but again, this thing, I know that I'm working inside XM. So I'm going to go to that uh, folder or directory. I'm going to go to XM. Add this. Okay, so the student transport system is already there. Uh, I'm just gonna put it inside. Oh, you don't need to touch on the phone. Let me give you a folder. I'm just gonna call it system transport. Cool. So I'm gonna select system transport and then put it there. It's gonna extract everything that it needs to extract from the um, from the GitHub account, and then yeah. I think from there you're done uh, but I'll show you briefly what you can do from there so I'll just open would you like to open the clone repository yes I'll like to open this sure. all right cool so yeah here's the repository so now I think from your side once you make a change, um, hi there. Mm -mm. I just zoomed too much, but it's fine. Hi there. I think from your side, once you make a change, okay. No, but I shouldn't do this. Yeah, yeah. This is what's gonna happen. This this thing is gonna happen automatically. I think it was loading from my side. Once you make a change, the change will be here. Yeah, once you make a change, the change will be recorded here. And then you'll be able to now commit and be one of the collaborators. So um, I just change something. And then obviously you click here to commit. You write the changes that you just made. This is the title of the changes that you just made. I just write here, I just change something and then uh, commit the change as it is written here, commit, sync changes. Cool. Yeah, now that the change is made, I can always check on GitHub refresh here and yeah now I can see 35 seconds ago a change was made and it's written here I just made 
I just changed something. And so the interesting thing is that I'll be able to see who made the change. It'll, as it will show me here, uh, the change was commit was made by Shigumatala and things and things like that. So, yeah, all the best, bro. Uh, I think it's easy how to clone a repository and it should be exciting. Hopefully, I didn't zoom too much here. All right, cheers, man. Let me zoom out a bit. Thank you, Vosso.